SR3 is supposed to be delivered shortly. Another beautiful day today though, looking good. So I'm a little bit early. Supposed to be here at 9 and it's 8.35. Maybe I'll take a walk down this lane. This is where we used to live in a mobile home if I can get through here. This deer trail. Ooh, that startled me. At one point, we were going to, oh, there's the, uh, there's the water thing that Sharon lost. Perfect, I can grab that. That's where the old mobile home sat, right here. Gosh, it seems like so long ago. It's a whole, whole different world, uh, living right up on the road. And moving a few hundred yards, you know, almost a mile back into the woods. Expensive, but it was definitely worth it. Alright, change of plans. I'm glad I called them. They're bringing a bigger semi than they initially told me. I always ask that question, uh, just because it's tight spacing. So... They're going to drop it at uh, my buddy Morris's parking lot. I got to throw the trailer on and run over there and get it. There's the new SR3. My buddy Jim Bob's going to load us up. Now, looking at this SR3, at first glance, if you're like me, I'm looking at it like, wow, that, gosh, is that going to hold up under the abuse that I put implements through? However, if you look at how skeleton frame this is, and you consider it weighs 1,300 pounds, this thing is built extremely stout. Uh, obviously with harsh conditions in mind so keep that in mind this thing weighs much more than much larger implements because all the components are extremely stout so looking forward to testing this thing out
All right, here she is. Uh, it's time to unpack it. Looking forward to getting some dirt underneath it. This thing is supposed to combine a box blade, a land plane, and a power rake. It kind of combines all three of those properties. It's a three-stage function here. You got your first blade here is a leveling blade that floats. And you could lock it in if you want like a box blade, but if that floats and that gets you your level, then you scarify and loosen it up behind it, and then you get your final grade with that one inch. That thing is pretty stout, you know, rake on the back. And you can also use it in reverse, tilt this down and pull up vegetation and move material with that as well. Kind of like a mini, mini bucket almost. Looking forward to it.